Hello Team Castle, this is Ari Goldman in from Los Angeles to share with you some really exciting things that we have coming up about William Shatner and the Robert Bailey Cinematic Fine Art Program. So we've had such a great success with the Star Wars portion of what Robert Bailey does that we asked him to do another franchise and the franchise is Star Trek. And Star Trek is very, very unique because there is an incredible iconic person who's associated with Star Trek that I've managed to become friends with and he has agreed to sign just for Castle Fine Art a handful of original drawings that he's doing that are just subjected on Star Trek. I personally curated a group of imagery. I work with Robert myself on it and I wanted to share with you some of the exciting facts and little bit of tidbits about the imagery that we chose. The first couple of pieces we have on the wall is from one of the most famous episodes at Star Trek, which is called City on the Edge of Forever. I think it was episode number 28, filmed in 1967, and it included a really great star by the name of Joan Collins. It was one of her first bits of TV. Each piece is hand signed by William Shatner, and in this particular story, there's a travel vortex that Dr. McCoy is the first one who steps through, and he goes into history. What happens in the scene, which is very Star Trek-like, is he goes into history, and of course, when somebody can go back in history, they can alter the course of history in totality. And these particular pieces, we actually asked Robert to draw the mass ships, and there's even one with a British flag. And I thought that was interesting, because in Great Britain, the British Navy and the old mass ships were sort of synonymous with the success of the Empire of England. Strangely compelling, isn't it? The signatures, I will use the word boldly, were well signed right in the center and I asked when he was signing, I asked William Shatner to make sure that he presses down on the pencil so it's nice and dark. So each one of the signatures is beautifully placed right in the center. This is another piece from City on the Edge of Forever. It includes a little more iconography. It includes the Star Trek logo. It has the actual name of the episode and all the important elements because they go back in time in old America and you have the Starship Enterprise, which is a very important character within the Star Trek universe. So it's not just the characters that are really iconic. It's not just the fact that Star Trek was an incredibly cutting edge show for, this, for the 1960s, but you even had space travel and the Enterprise itself becomes a very important part of, the, of all of the episodes. The next couple of pieces are interesting because we took one from a, what I consider to be the best movie that Star Trek franchise ever had, which is The Wrath of Khan. And there's quite a few famous things that Star Trek is famous for in terms of things that are said that are iconic and repeated. Two of the most are Go Boldly, right? And another one is the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. So he sacrifices himself to fix the ship and he dies in the process and he leaves. And this is the final scene where you see Captain Kirk and Leonard Nimoy, William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy, from the end of that movie. And one of the most famous things that Spock says is, live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. So you've got the iconic image of him splitting his fingers and the two of them seeing each other for the last time. The next piece is the two of them from the original series and they have the Galileo spacecraft and Galileo of course is a great scientist and explorer and sometimes when they couldn't beam down to the surface they would use this shuttle. So a lot of people love that little shuttle because it's sort of emblematic of different ways of space travel. You have the two of them and of course they're holding their phasers and this one's got great color in it as does many of the other ones. More color than we're used to with Robert Bailey. We tried to separate it a little bit this time. We separated it because we wanted the Star Trek imagery to be a little more colory, graphic-y than we wanted for Star Wars. The next two pieces are fantastic. We have a little bit of a different composition. It's a, it's a vertical composition. It includes, again, those great little bits of iconography, the Starship Enterprise. This piece has the Enterprise from the top, if you saw it, above and of course it has it coming at you. And then imagery of the entire core cast that's so iconic. Signature again is dark, beautiful, well-centered. Every single piece has the Robert Bailey stamp. Every single piece is signed by Robert Bailey, titled by Robert Bailey, and signed by William Shatner. 
So one of the most exciting parts of doing this project with Robert Bailey and William Shatner was William Shatner's reaction when I, when I put the stuff in front of him and all the art was stacked up. He was kind of impressed and actually shocked by how beautiful the artwork was. And he looked down before he signed the piece and he looked up at me and he said, these are the most beautiful Star Trek pieces I've ever seen. And I thought to myself, take note of that. That's really impressive because over the years, obviously William Shatner has seen quite a bit of art. And for him to have said, these are the most impressive pieces of original Star Trek art that I've ever seen, was something I really wanted to share with everybody. Another thing I wanted to share is the iconic status of William Shatner himself. William Shatner just turned 91 in March of this year. And he is of the big triumvirate of men that were like sort of iconic over the years. He's the only one who's still around and still willing to sign. The other two were Adam West from Batman and of course Stan Lee who we all know and love. So the fact that we actually have the opportunity to sell things that are signed by such an iconic person is incredible. The Star Trek franchise has more longevity than any other television franchise that started way back in the 60s. So it is not only cutting edge, and it had all these gadgets that later on kind of came to life, but it's still going with TV shows, Deep Space Nine, Next Generation, new films, new characters. It's quite an amazing franchise. One of the things I love about Star Trek is the gadgets. The tricorder, the lasers, the phasers, the ships. So when we curated imagery, we tried to make sure that we included some of that stuff. So we included the Star Trek actual logo, plus a lot of imagery where you had like Lieutenant Uhura, or you had Captain Kirk holding some of those futuristic weapons. Another great part of Star Trek is everybody's favorite transporter. So this is an image that we asked Rob to do, and this was very challenging to have a transporter room that includes sort of the morphing of appearing and disappearing matter of human life. And he actually could transport, we could actually transport from the ship down to, the, to whichever planet they needed to move into. So we love this transporter scene. And it, we actually think that Robert did an incredible job trying to draw the disappearance of the bodies as they're disappearing and being transported. Another huge feature of Star Trek is the fights between our heroes and the Klingons. So we had Robert draw, and he's so good at spaceships. We had him draw the Klingon bird of prey and the actual Enterprise in battle. So you could see some of the coloring, you could see the phasers, and some of this great energy of the explosions when these things are colliding. Again, amazing, very beautiful, bold signatures. The most classic of images is Captain Kirk in his captain's chair. So I asked Robert to do some really great portrait shots. I also want to mention that in all of the artwork that you see, there's always two things that are commonly included. One is images of Captain Kirk. So we don't have any images that don't include Captain Kirk and no images that don't include the Enterprise because those two are central themes. So we didn't have images of like Mr. Scott and McCoy without Captain Kirk because we felt that why would we have William Shatner sign an image of those characters when he's not included in the image composition. So every piece has Captain Kirk or the Starship Enterprise included. This is a classic shot of Captain Kirk in his captain's chair with a very determined look on his face. And so that's one of the reasons why we asked him to do that. And of course, he's got those control panel buttons, which are classic and emblematic of his control of the starship. The final piece I want to discuss is really the ensemble piece. So many pieces have many characters, but we really wanted to do a couple of ensemble pieces that included all the imagery on the bridge, as well as the imagery of the characters with very serious expressions on their faces. So this is the final ensemble piece we made sure to add all the color, as I mentioned earlier. The doors are red, and then if you, even if you look in the background, the imagery of the profile and the silhouette of the Starship Enterprise is in the back. The seats where people work are in the back, and all the characters with very determined looks are included. And Robert really got these spot on. He hadn't done Star Trek before. He had really just focused on doing Star Wars. But for us, and having the ability to have Robert Bailey inclusive of getting things signed by William Shatner, who's this amazing legendary guy, was really the opportunity of a lifetime.